Horsing Around, brought to you by Roy Fry Western Lifestyles, dressing Northeast Kansas their Western best for over 57 years. Hello and welcome to Horsing Around. I'm Dr. Chris Blevins here at Kansas State Veterinary Health Center and today I just wanted to go over uh, some simple concepts about trailers. We know that uh, spring is coming pretty quick and we're going to be looking at our trailers, making sure everything is properly equipped. And I'd also like to today go over some things about when you put a horse in a trailer, what we should be uh, at least consciously thinking about for the health of that horse. Initially, I think we should inspect our trailer just like you do every year. Make sure your lights work and uh, the hitch is on good and also rust and those kind of things too. The floor itself is very important because if there's any rot or rust in the floorboard, especially when you got a thousand to even two thousand pound animal uh, putting weight on it, that you can have a lot of different problems with that. So making sure that you have uh, good proper flooring that the horse is standing on is always good. So take your mat, flip it up, look at it, make sure that your floor is good. Even your fiberglass and metal flooring or even stainless steel type flooring or aluminum, again, you should always at least check it every once in a while to make sure everything is good, the rivets, the bolts and everything are holding properly. The other thing is whenever you're looking is all your hitches, your gates, everything that holds the horse in place. And so when you're looking in at your trailer, uh, you know, swinging those around, we all know that once you get a horse in there, you want to make sure things are working properly because if they don't, it's always happening whenever the horse is either having some kind of anxious event and could get hurt or get the person hurt at the same time. So just make sure that you have everything working order, uh, not just the trailer itself going down the road, but also for the horse in the trailer. And whenever you're also in the trailer, Think about if you're going to be doing stuff in the evenings, how it's going to be a lot better if you have lights in your trailer uh, because a horse really doesn't like to go in somewhere where it can't really see and if it's unfamiliar. So having proper lights and making sure all your lights work in your trailer is also really um, beneficial to check prior to getting in again to that kind of horse season here in the spring. Also ventilation, uh, also very important in your trailer. You don't have proper ventilation, you can have all kinds of things that can uh, happen to your horse uh, health-wise that could be detrimental. So having areas that uh, can open up and allow for airflow, especially in the hot summer months, uh, that keeps the horse cooled down because you don't want to be taking a horse in and out of an area that's sweating and temperature uh, is elevated just because they're all trapped in a trailer that doesn't have good ventilation. Uh, the other things that I think we need to always think about is when we're going down the road and, and what things we should be looking at uh, for a horse and travel, uh, being prepared for every situation is also important when you're in the trailer. The thing that I think we'll probably come back with uh, in our next segment is just going to be handling the horse in the trailer, how and where to tie your horse in the trailer and why that's even important and other things that we should at least think about, uh, again, to keep the horse safe and to keep you safe. This is Horsing Around. I'm Dr. Chris Blevins. We'll be back soon. Horsing Around, brought to you by Roy Fry Western Lifestyles, dressing Northeast Kansas their Western best for over 57 years. Hi and welcome back to Horsing Around. I'm Dr. Chris Blevins here at Kansas State Veterinary Health Center and we're going to continue to talk about trailers and horse safety while in or around the trailer. We all know that whenever we go and put a horse in a trailer, we talked about the first segment, making sure all our petitions and everything are working properly. And when you tie the horse in the trailer to make sure all your hooks and latches are working well too. You have to remember whenever you're going on long trips with your horse, over four hours that really we should probably make sure that we don't tie the horse too tight in the trailer because you want to make sure that it's actually able to put its head down uh, during that aspect or time frame. 
The part that uh, kind of to remember about that is the head or the nose needs to be able to go below the chest, uh, you know, when we're having long trailer rides. Why? Because if that horse needs to cough or uh, evacuate anything in its upper airway, it's easier for it to do that if it can lower its head down. We obviously don't want to tie it too loose or cause damage if the horse gets its foot caught in some lead rope uh, or tie frame apparatus within the trailer or gets itself in trouble. So you have to kind of outweigh some of those things. But something to kind of think about when you're going on long trips to just make sure that uh, we don't get the horse into a problem with just tying or even respiratory problems. We talked about also the ventilation on the first segment. The other thing that I think owners need to be conscious of is, yeah, the trailer is used for the inside, but also what you do around the outside of the trailer too. Where you tie the horse up at on the outside of the trailer, some horses you might not even think are going to spook, but what if they pull back? Uh, could they get their foot caught in some aspect on an outside tie that's on the trailer and cause problems to the horse? So all those things you need to kind of think about when you're going around. Is there any sharp edges that are on the outside of your trailer where you might be tying the horse up is also something you need to think about as you're going around through uh, your trailer and your inspections. Now, I always think that uh, what should we always have on our trailer just in case of emergencies? You know, and having fire extinguishers uh, would be good. What if, you know, you have a bearing that gets too hot or a fire that gets started on your trailer while your horses are in it? Things to kind of think about to try to defer some of those things that could get really bad or even some kind of accident within your trailer or truck and trailer while you're going down the road, having bandage material or first aids uh, somewhere on your trailer is, is helpful for those things too. Um, you know, one of the things that I always tell owners to have is that phone number of your veterinarian. Uh, so if you have any questions or concerns as you're going, that you can definitely get a hold of them fairly quickly and uh, go through the situation to figure out what would be the next step uh, in those things. It's always hard to prepare for every accident, but at least we need to be able to have as much possible preparedness so to prevent problems as you're going down the road. You know it's getting again close to that spring season, so check out your trailer and let us know, you know, let yourself kind of uh, be the judge of what needs to be done to make sure everything is safe for your horse and for you and for the vehicles going down the road. I'm Dr. Chris Blevins here for Horsing Around and we'll see you around.